Boys and girls, now I'm going to read to you The Very Lazy Ladybug. This is the story of a very lazy ladybug. She liked to sleep all day and all night. Because she slept all day and all night, this lazy ladybug didn't know how to fly. One day, the lazy ladybug wanted to sleep somewhere else, but what could she do if she couldn't fly? Then the lazy ladybug had a very good idea when a kangaroo bounded by. She hopped into her pouch, but the kangaroo liked to jump. I can't sleep in here, cried the lazy ladybug. It's too bumpy. So when a tiger padded by, she hopped onto his back, but the tiger liked to roar. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. It's too noisy. So when a crocodile swam by, she hopped onto his tail, but the crocodile liked to swish his tail in the water. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. I'll fall into the river. So when a monkey swung by, she hopped onto her head, but the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. I'm feeling dizzy. So when a bear ambled by, she hopped into his ear, but the bear, bear liked to scratch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. He'll never sit still. So when a tortoise prodded by, she hopped onto her shell, but the tortoise liked to snooze in the sun. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. It's too hot. So when an elephant walked by, she hopped onto his trunk. At last she thought, the lazy ladybug, I found someone who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail or scratch or swing or snooze. But at that very moment, the elephant sneezed at you and poor old lazy ladybug had to fly at last. The end. I hope we enjoyed the very lazy ladybug and I hope we learned the first lesson when we learned all about ladybugs. All right, boys and girls, miss you.